my friends um good evening it's april 10th today um of 2019 it's hot and it is 6 in the evening here in trivandrum kerala uh, i wanted to share some um information and my experience of growing uh, this beautiful um gardenia plant um okay so um i didn't know much about gardening too enough i mean i i know uh normal uh plants like um cosmos and zinnias and balsams uh, marigolds and etc uh <clears throat> but i didn't really uh, know much about these exotic type of plants like powder puff uh, gladiolus uh, there are different types of rain lilies aster gardenia and many more so and ever since i started um, seeing posts about these on uh, the facebook groups that i joined that i'm part of um i started learning more about it and try to understand um if it would grow in our climatic condition as tropical it's hot and humid uh, we don't really have winter and all that uh, unlike growing plants in um places like shimla or uti and all that um um i bought this plant for 25 rupees uh, online uh from somebody from pune and he shipped two plants to me actually um they are uh, a year and a half old right now and i'm seeing their bloom for the first time and i'm very excited very happy um you you won't really know how happy i am because i waited for this for so long and uh, uh the plant is healthy um i want to show because i bought two plants at the same time um uh, planted both of them but uh kept them in two different places and um in different parts um but there isn't any change in the watering or uh the fertilizing schedule is just that um they've kept in different uh, places where they get uh, sunlight at different times and um in different po- small and big pot okay so the one that we have here is about 2 feet high and uh, you can see that i've put that on a uh m- medium size clay pot um uh, it is um the hard uh stem has um matured very well and it started to branch out it's not a big plant it's a small one um so this is one of them and there is another one it's kept in a small plastic pot it is like um i think it's a 9 inch pot probably or this i don't know if it's a it's a very small pot actually and um uh the main stem has a matured like the other one and it had a lot more branches but haven't bloomed yet and you can see there's a lot of yellow leaves and um the growth is good it's okay i don't know if it's very healthy compared to the other one um and i think it has started to uh put buds because i noticed one here then uh um i think this is leaf probably i don't even know if it has started to but uh yet because i was uh, keeping a tab on it all the time um so i think this is still going to grow uh and these plants are acid loving and i used to put um one a uh, teaspoon of vinegar in 1 liter of water and um give them uh, along with my hydrangea um so i did that um somehow this isn't blooming yet um and this one has kept in partial shade so they get sunlight only for some time they don't get full sunlight throughout the day whereas this guy was um on full sun and you know how hot it gets um i don't know about delhi weather but it it can get really hot in um uh during the months uh between april to uh april m- from march onwards march april may and june somewhat probably so um there are two things so one was in full sun and i've kept on a bigger pot and a small pot versus a partial shade and little sunlight um so you can see both the plants and uh um uh, i don't know if it would flower only uh once in a year i have to uh uh check it out um the buds will look something like this so this is a flower bud this is still small i think it'll take uh maybe a week or so to um uh mature really uh 
well and bloom open up and the one that you see here is uh, still uh, opening up in the morning it was kind of you know I was thinking that it will bloom tomorrow but now uh, it is kind of, it is opened up around 80% uh, so morning tomorrow is going to be we can see that in full bloom um, so another one so another one here so this will take two more days probably so um, the buds started off, um, you know the buds were there in green color for more than a month and I was waiting for it to bloom but it took its own time um, don't know if that is the time it takes I have to wait um, look out uh, look out for the other buds and I'll um, update um, so that is about the flowering um, about it and you saw the um, uh, way the plants are being watered and uh, maintained um, fertilizer uh, it's just like any all of the plants I don't give anything different I put um, a handful of cow dung and uh, mix the soil well on top uh, once every month um, and if I'm putting bone meal for rows I do the same for these plants as well one teaspoon um, and I used to spray neem oil because they get infected with mealybugs so you have to watch out for them underneath the leaves and on your stems um, and joints so they would destroy the plant so that is the only pest that I got on my plant once but I as I treat all my plants one, once in a month so it wasn't a problem for me um, it went away um, other than that um, yeah always try to put that in big pot I'm being lazy I have to transplant it into a bigger pot I'll do that maybe next month and I'll uh, monitor its growth and uh, its flowering uh, period and um, I'm really waiting for it to flower uh, as far as propagation is concerned, I think it is by stem. Uh, once it branches out a little bit, I will try to uh, propagate, take a stem cutting and try to do that as I experiment with other plants. Um, and then I'll share more update. So don't hesitate to buy gardenia or grow gardenia. And they have very sweet fragrance, very nice, and I just love them. Um, mild and... Um, it's like perfume smell I liked it very much um, but sitting close to it I don't really uh, sense the smell but I had to go close and sniff it in the morning um, oh yeah I can feel it now wow it's so good so um, I told you about um, how to grow how to water what to feed um, and uh, propagation I'll come back so thank you for watching and um, happy gardening folks